Coventry United TV highlights are proudly sponsored by Coventry Motorcycles and Scooters, a family-run business providing an extensive range of new and used scooters, 125cc motorcycles and a wide selection of riding accessories. For more information, contact Roy on 02476 440011, email Roy at coventrymotorcycles.co.uk or visit in store at 288 Horsgrave Road, Coventry, CV2 4BL. Step up Jonathan Haynes for the corner. Towards that far post, unmarked, well held. Well, who was marking Callum Rudd? Freedom with the penalty area for the Romulus number four. Well hit header, but Bun equal to it. Balance set up for the run, plenty of space for the left back to work with. Setting up Haddo. Haddo with a cross, and it was heading in, but thanks to the gloves of Wagstaff, it ends up out of play for the corner. Off the boot of Luke Downs. Into the box by Downs, nodded towards the net. I think he came with the head of ice and a uh, comfortable catch for Wagstaff. Modern day Rory Delap sends it in, nodded away. Back to Ison, looking for Clark. And the head of I Clark into the chest of Reese Wagstaff. Another effort on target, but another effort that Wagstaff was able to bring under control. Lockie trying to position himself to receive. Haddo into the box. Kyle Carey is onside. Down goes Lockley. Referee waves away protest from Coventry United. It was a tangle of legs with Rudd. Haynes. Got Winwood with him, tries the cross, Jackson. And volleyed clear by Downs as Jackson was able to bring it to feet. Now Cairns. Haddo waiting for the through ball. Cairns holds fast. In he goes to Carl Kerr, he's got space to get the shot away, tight angle. Waxaf equal to it, keeping it out with the feet at the near post. Tight angle indeed, but still worth the effort from Carl Carey. Blackstaff keeps his clean sheet intact. Lockley. Joe Cairns dribbling to the right. Carey looking for Haddo. Perfectly weighted. Tyler Haddo slides in. McCurdy doing just enough to prevent the effort. Ison with the run and the throw towards Jamal Clark. Haddo there too. In goes Cairns. Waxaf loses it. Palms it away from Carey. Carey picks up on the right hand side. And out it goes for the throw right in the corner with Haynes doing his defensive duties. Here comes Rory the lap. I mean, uh, Lewis Ison. Towards that near post and it's off the line. United have they went over. I'm not sure who got the final touch on that. It was nodded away from the outstretched gloves of Wagstaff. And on the line, I believe it was Rudd who cleared it. Luke Downs. Kent. Joe Kent! Oh, it's a thunderbolt! It's an absolute thunderbolt! Pick that one out, says Joe Kent! Well, I want to get a Mars per hour check on that one. Ferocious hit from Cairns. And a goal worth celebrating for the Coventry United youngster. Luke Downs with a probing run through the midfield, finding Cairns and on a one man mission. He stuck his laces through it and found the perfect result. Romulus nil, Coventry United won. Here's Carl Carey and sending Lockley through. Not it could double their money. It's Lockley only sends it behind. And Wagstaff is absolutely furious straight from the kickoff. Romulus use it. It's punted up to Lockley. 
and the only one preventing the striker from making it 2-0 was Wagstaff. Musa, Barnett, up line to Musa. Barnett once more, surging run from Barnett, lifts it over the attempted challenge, here's Lockley in the area, dragged down, penalty! Lockley denied a penalty in the first half, he won't be denied again. Well, Rudd pleading his innocence. The defender with a handful of shirts. And Lockley went to ground. Lockley congratulated by his teammates for earning the penalty, but nothing is won yet. It's down to Kyle Carey to score it. It's down to Carey. And Wagstaff. <laughs> Referee checks we're good to go. Offsets Carey. 2 0. Sends Wagstaff the wrong way. Nothing but net for Kyle Carey. And Coventry to lead by two goals to nil. Carey's first goal since returning to the club from Mikulova. Keane gets one back here, Romulus are right back in it. The four man wall for Coventry United. Nothing to prevent that from happening. It's Keane. It hit the net but it was the side of the net. Decent hit from Keane. An inch or two to the left and it would have been a Quite wonderful way for Romulus to find a route back into this game. There it goes, it's sent back where it came from by a ferocious clearance by Jamal Clark. Lee nods it on. Jackson looking for an option. But United was to clear the danger. Here's Scrag. Poor first touch from Lee, and he lunges in. That is a poor challenge from Cameron Lee and commentary on it. Absolutely furious. And it all stemmed from that poor first search. The captain lunging in and catching Haddo. Well, the players of both sides surround the referee and the fallen Haddo, who is still down. And the referee asking for a bit of space and telling the players to move out and get back into position as he decides what is going to be the uh, appropriate punishment. Well, there is going to be a card, but the question is, what colour will it be? And it is a red card. Cameron Lee has been sent off. And things go from bad to worse. Romulus. It looks so promising at half time at 0 0. So everything to play for. But now they've gone 2 0 down and their captain has been dismissed. For a pretty nasty challenge on Tyler Haddo. Off steps Holt. Oh, it bounces off the top of the crossbar. United yeah, within inches of a third. A venomous hit from Jake Holt. Just needed to be that little bit lower. Winwood with the free kick. Sends it into the box. It's across the net. And Romulus have a route back into this. The ball trickled across Brendan Bond's net. Before finally being turned home by Callum Rudd. We are set. For an intriguing finale, it's Romulus 1, Coventry United 2. Bun, a lofty clearance, sends it in to touch and Romulus have a ball ready to start the move again. Herbert, he's beating his man in Barnet. King with the header! Remarkable save from Brendan Bun, heroic intervention from the United shot stopper and King can't believe it, he fought back Romulus a point there. Oh, 
Well, it's not good news for Coventry United. As Burn has sustained an injury in the process, is uh, still holding his back as he tries to get up. You know, they do have a substitute goalkeeper in Brad Caswell if he's needed, and you know, they do have a change left that they can make. But it looks like Burn will be able to continue. He's back on his feet and ready for the corner. But what a save from Brendan Burn. Just try and see this out. Here's Gift Musa. And Rum is starting to look a little stretched at the back now. He's got options on the right hand side and Kyle Carey. But Musa making a beeline for the penalty area. Kyle Carey sends it over to a venomous strike. Couldn't quite keep it down. That could have been the game clincher. And it is Scrag setting his sights on Brendan Bunn's net to take a point home for Romulus. It's going to be Taylor instead and kept out by Brendan Bunn. Well held. That could be the game clinching save for Coventry. <laughs> Referee call time. Coventry United victorious at Castlevale Stadium. An enthralling match brought to an end with the Red and Greens taking three points home. It was a match that Coventry dare not lose, and it's one they have not lost despite Rumbles' best efforts. The second half got off to a terrible start for the Rams with goals for Coventry United from Joe Cairns. What a goal that was, and a penalty from Carl Carey. And then there was the red card for Cameron Lee, the captain, for a lunge in on Tyler Haddo. Rumbles fought back, who we were unable to capitalise on the goal from Rudd. And Coventry United will be heading back down the M6 with three points in tow. The final score here at Castlevale Stadium, Romulus 1, Coventry United 2.